Hello dear students, this is grade 11 mathematics lesson on unit 1, further on relation and functions. So today we'll focus on composition and inverse of functions. After revising this lesson, you are expected to determine the composition of two functions and determine the inverse of a function. So let's continue to composing function. Let f is a function from a to b and g is a function from b to c b functions. Then the composition of g by f or gov is given us gov of x or g of f of x. So, this is the definition of composition function. Uh, look this one, let's see example. Let we have a function if it takes a to b. It is from a to b. And a function g is this from B to C and assume you have here 1, 2, here it is A, B and here 4 and 5. Assume this F takes 1 to A and B takes this A To five. So, if we are asked to find the composition of G of F of 1, the composition of this function, G of F of 1, this means first, we need to find F of 1, or the function F takes 1 to which number? The function f takes 1 to a, so f of 1 is it is a. Therefore, here we have g of f of 1 it is a. And then the function g takes a to which number? The function g takes a to 5. Therefore, g of a it is 5. Therefore, uh, this it is how to uh, determine the composition of functions. Now, let's see the other part. Let's take this one. Suppose f of x is given to be 3x minus 2 and g of x to be it is 5x plus 1. Then determine the composition of f with g of x and f of f of g of 2. So let's determine these two one by one. First, let's see the composition of f of g of x or fog of x. So this means this is equivalent to this f of g of x. So to find f of g of x, what you do is simply you put the value of g of x on f. So we have f of x to be here it is 3x minus 2 and to find f of g of x in place of x simply put g of x therefore here f of g of x this is equal to you put g of x here also 3 times g of x minus 2 so this gives you 3 times g of x is given here it is 5x plus 1. So f of g of x is equal to 3 times in place of x you replace g of x minus 2. So this is equal to 3 times g of x is 5x plus 1 minus 2 here. So this is equal to 15x plus 
3 minus 2. Therefore, this equal to this 15x, 3 minus 2 is plus 1. Therefore, f of j of x is this 15x plus 1. Next, we are asked to find f of g of 2 at 2. So, first let's find this expression at x. To find this, this means f of f of g of x can be written as in this form f of f of g of x. Therefore, this is equal to since we have f here, so you put f of g of x on f. Since we have found f of g of x here, I can put f of g of x in place of f. Therefore, since we have f, f to be f of x is given to be it is uh, 3x minus 2, 3x minus 2, and hence this implies f of f of g of x will be equal to 3 times in place of x, simply substitute f of g of x. Therefore, 3 times, here it is f of g of x minus 2. So, this is equal to 3 times. We have found f of g of x here. So, you can substitute 15x plus 1. So, 3 times 15x plus 1 minus 2. So, this is equal to 3 times 15. It is 45. 45x. 3 times 1. It is 3 minus 2. So, this is equal to 45x. 3 minus 2. It is plus 1. Therefore, here we are asked to find this composition function at x equals to 2. Therefore, f of f of g of 2 will be equal to 45 times 2 plus 1. So, this it gives you 91. So, this will be the answer. Now, next now, let's continue to the second example. Let f of x is given to be 4x plus 1 and g of x equal to 3x plus k. Then find the value of k for which f of g of x and g of f of x are equal. So, here, f of x is given. It is 4x plus 1. And we have g of x also here. g of x is 3x plus k. So, f of g of x and g of f of x are, are equal. It is given. So, this implies f of g of x means Put g of x in f. f is this one. So, in place of x, you put what? g of x. Therefore, here, f of g of x means this four times. In place of x, you put g of x. Four times g of x plus one. This must be equal to g of f of x means simply substitute f of x in g. So, you can put f of x in place of x. Therefore, g of f of x is equal to 3 times f of x plus k. Therefore, this implies 4 times g of x is given to be this 3x plus k. So, you put 3x plus k here and plus 1 and this equal to 3 times 
f of x. Where is f of x? f of x is 4x plus 1. So you put 4x plus 1 plus k. So this implies, this means it is 12x plus 4k plus 1. And this is equal to 3 times 4x, it is 12x plus 3 times 1, 3 plus k. So from this, these two cancels out. You can take this to the side, it becomes 0. So we have 4k plus 1 here. Take k to this side. You have this one. 4k minus k must be equal to, we have 3 here. Take 1 to the other side, it becomes minus 1. So 4k minus k is this. It is 3k is equal to 3 minus 1 it is 2. So divide both sides by 2, you get k to be it is 2 over 2 over 3. So this will be the answer. Now let's proceed to the other example. Here, f of x is given to be x minus 1, and the composition of g with f is given to be x squared minus 1. And you are asked to find the value of g of x. Here, the composition function g of f of x is given to be 2x squared minus 1. f of x is substituted in g. We don't know g. So, we have to uh, assume uh, g to be a certain function uh, that has the same form with the composition. Therefore, here, let g of x to be a function which has a form with the composition. So, the composition function is it's a quadratic. So, g of x will take a quadratic form. Therefore, uh, this will be this ax, let's assume, g of x to be x squared plus bx plus c. So from this, we need to find g of x. But we have g of, g of f of x. So from this, g of f of x means a times, in place of x, you put f of x, f of x squared, plus b times, in place of x, you put f of, f of x, plus c. So, this implies, g of f x is given, this x squared, minus 1, 2x squared, minus 1. This equal to a times f of x is, it is x minus 1. So here, x minus 1 squared plus b times f of x, it is x minus 1 plus c. Therefore, this implies, here it is 2x squared minus 1, this equal to, a times this it is x squared minus 2x plus 1. This will be equal to bx minus b plus c. So this implies 2x squared minus 1. This equal to distribute a. You get that ax squared minus 2ax plus a plus bx minus b plus c. So from this, these two are equal. So to get this one, the coefficient of x squared is a here. So the coefficient of x squared here it is 2. So the value of a must be 2. Therefore, from this you have a must be equal to a must be equal to 2 
and we don't have the coefficient of x here but the coefficient of x here it is minus 2a and b therefore minus 2a and b must be 0 because we don't have x coefficient here we don't have x therefore here minus 2a plus b must be 0 but we know the value of a so you can put here therefore here minus 2 times 2 plus b this equal to 0 so b will be this 4 from this you have b to be 4 and the constant term a minus b plus c we have a minus b and c so this must gives you minus 1 therefore here a minus b plus c a minus b plus c must be equal to negative 1 must be equal to negative 1 so we know a and b therefore you can put 2 in place of a and in place of b4 plus c is equal to minus 1 so this one is negative 2 take the other side it becomes plus minus 1 plus 2 it gives you 1 so the value of c is 1 so since we have found a b and c our g of x is equal to in place of a we substitute 2 it is 2x squared in place of b it is 4 plus 4x and in place of c it is 1 therefore this is our g of x let's see about inverse functions the inverse of function f is denoted by this symbol is denoted by f inverse and f inverse is a function if and only if f is this 1 to 1 if it's 1 to 1 the inverse will also a function so we have steps to find the inverse of a given function first what you do is simply interchange the variables x and y in f and then solve for y in terms of x after that replace y by f inverse of x this is a procedure of determining inverse of a function we'll see this through example and here another term identity function identity function a function i from a to a given by i of x equals to x is called identity function we call this one is identity function if f is a function from a to a and i is also a function from a to a then i of f of x the composition of function with identity gives you the function itself look we have i of x to be x and we have f of x so if you are asked to find i of f of x this equals to simply put or replace x by f of x so we put here therefore here it becomes what f of x therefore the composition of the function with identity gives you the function itself so here the composition of the function with identity it gives you the function itself again you can interchange f of i this i of f of x f of i of x if you are asked to find f of i of x simply you replace i of x by x therefore this will be this will be equal to f of i of x means it is x this is it therefore uh, the composition of a function with identity function with f or f with identity always gives you the function itself the function itself and 
Note this also. The composition of a function with its inverse always gives you the identity function. That means f of f inverse of x or f inverse of fx always gives you the identity function. Okay, now let's see examples for this concept. Now here, we are asked to find the inverse of this function. As we said earlier, to find the inverse, what you do is replace g of x by y and interchange x and y, solve for y, and then replace y by f inverse or g inverse. Here is the function g. So now here solution g of x is given to be this 2x over x plus 3. To find the inverse, change the g of x or the function by variable y. So y is equal to this 2x over x plus 3. After this, to find the inverse, change the variable x and y. Therefore, this becomes this x. This equal to 2y over y plus 3. So after this, solve for y. Solve for y. Cross multiplication. x times y plus 3 must be equal to, to y. So here, this xy plus 3x gives you to y. So to solve for y, collect the variables y. Here we have xy and minus 2y. This equal to shift 3x to the other side, you get minus 3x. And take y as a common and x minus 2. This equal to this minus 3x. So you'll have this one dividing both sides by x minus 2. You'll have this one negative 3x divided by x minus 2. This all, so after this, after solving for y, as we said, replace this by, by the inverse function. Our function is g, so g inverse of x is equal to minus 3x over x minus 2. So this is the inverse of the function g of x equals to 2x over x plus 3. Now let's continue to the other example. Find, again, the inverse of this expression. The same procedure. Let's see this one. f of x is equal to the cube root of 1 plus e raised to minus x. So what you do is first replace f x by variable y. This is the cube root of 1 plus e raised to minus x. After this, what you do is change the variables x and y. So y is replaced by x. This equal to the cube root of 1 plus e raised to minus y. After this, solve for y. To solve for y, first cube both sides. If you cube both sides, you get this one. x cubed is equal to 1 plus e raised to negative y. So from this, e raised to negative y gives you x cubed minus 1. So here, e raised to negative y, it gives you x cubed minus 1. So to solve for this one, for y, apply logarithm both sides. So ln of the natural logarithm of e raised to minus y, this equals to ln of x cubed minus 1. And then this means applying logarithmic property, you can take minus y to this side. This minus y ln of e is equal to ln of this x cubed minus 1. 
ln e means 1. Therefore, my, we have find uh, minus y. Therefore, from this, minus y is equal to this ln of x cubed minus minus 1. So this gives you y is equal to negative of ln of x cubed minus 1 by dividing both sides by negative. And then using again logarithm property, you can take this negative as a power of this expression. Therefore, you'll have this one, ln of x cubed minus 1 is the power of negative 1. So uh, again, you can write this in this form. This equal to this ln of 1 over x cubed minus 1. So this is the inverse. Uh, finally, we can replace y by f inverse. So f inverse of x, f inverse of x gives you this ln of 1 over x cubed minus 1. So this will be the answer. Now let's continue to next example. Find the inverse of f of x is equal to ln of 3x minus 2 over x minus 1 for x greater than 1. So again, same procedure. Here, f of x, this is equal to this ln of 3x minus 2 over x minus 1 is given. What you do is, first change this variable by y. y is equal to ln of 3x minus 2 divided by x minus 1. After this, change the variable 6 and y. So here, x is equal to ln of 3y minus 2 divided by y minus 1. So, after this, we need to solve for y. To solve for y, this, the logarithm of this number to the base e is equal to x. So, when you change this into, into exponent form, you'll have this one. This implies 3y minus 2 over y minus 1 is equal to the base is e, e is a power of x. It gives you e is a power of x. So we need to find for y or to solve for y. So cross multiplication, you'll have this one. e raised to x times y minus e raised to x gives you 3y, 3y minus 2. So from this, let's collect the variable y together. So here we have e raised to x, e raised to xy minus 3y. Take 3y to this side. This equal to negative 2 plus e raised to x. We have negative 2. We can take e raised to x plus. So from this, you can factor for y. You can factor for y. So when you factor for y, y into e raised to x minus 3. This is equal to, I can write this as e raised to x minus 2. And then divide both sides by e raised to x minus 3 by e raised to x minus 3. And this cancels out. You get y to be equal to e raised to x minus 2 divided by e raised to x minus 3. So finally, you change this variable y by f inverse of x. So the answer will be f inverse of x equal to e raised to x minus 2 divided by e raised to x minus 3. So this will be the final answer. Now, uh, let's see one more example. Let's see this one. Here it says, show that f of x is equal to 3x plus 2 and g of x is equal to x minus 2 over 3r 
inverse to each other. To show this, if one function is the inverse of the other, the composition of these two functions will give you x. That means if f and g are inverse to each other, the composition of f of g of x gives you always x. So using this concept, we can check whether these two are inverse to each other. OK, so let's find the composition of f of g of x. OK, first we have f of x. f of x is this, 3x, f x 3x plus 2. So the composition will be this, f of g of x. This is equal to 3 times, in place of x, you substitute g of x. g of x plus 2. So this gives you 3 times. g of x is given to be x minus 2 over 3 plus 2. When you cancel these two, you have x minus 2 and here plus 2. So this gives you x. Since f of g of x, the composition of f and g gives you the identity function x, so f is the inverse of g. Even you can check this one, by the way, it gives you x g of, please try this one, g of f of x. If you take the composition of g with f also gives you uh, x, so from this you can conclude that f and g are the inverse to each other. So uh, this all about today's lesson, uh, to summarize what we have seen today, here the first point g of x can be written in this form, it is g of f of x. And we say it, the inverse is a function if and only if the given function is 1 to 1. And g and f are inverse functions to each other if and only if the composition of g with f and the composition of f with g gives you the identity function x. And we have also seen how to find the inverse of a given function. To find the inverse of a given function, first write f of x by y or replace f of x by y and then interchange the variables x and y in the equation here and then solve for y. Finally, replace y by f inverse of x. This is a procedure how to find the inverse of a given function. And please try this exercises on page 30, exercise 1.10 on page 30 and exercise 1.1 on page 33. So this is all about today's lesson. Until next lecture class, goodbye.